The Apple iPhone 5 is thinner, lighter and faster than its predecessors, but not necessarily its competitors. In this video, we take a closer look at the iPhone 5's build, features, screen, performance, camera, maps and battery. At 112 grams, it's 20% daintier than the iPhone 4S, 16% less butch than the Samsung Galaxy S3, and 14% lighter than the HTC One X. It's the lightest iPhone yet. With the weight combined with the depth of just 7.6 millimeters, it feels sufficiently waif-like in the hand. This isn't necessarily a good thing. It's miraculous what Apple has done, but we preferred the more robust-like nature of its predecessors. Here we're talking cosmetics. The screen is bigger at 4 inches, the headphone socket has been moved to the bottom of the device, the bottom speakers have been given a boost and of course, there's that lightning connector. On the screen, it remains lovely and retina at 326 ppi and 1136 by 640 resolution. But the main benefit is that you can just see more. There's a new row of apps on the home screen. Web pages are longer, movies are wider, the photo viewing area is bigger and screen optimized apps make use of the extra estate. However, it is still smaller than the Samsung Galaxy S3 HTC One X and the Nokia Lumia 900. Could this be a sign that an iPad mini is imminent? Everything feels slightly slicker when navigating the phone. Apps appear to load quicker, videos feel a touch smoother, video and image processing is definitely faster. It's not a huge change on the rear camera, there's improved low light when it comes to video, it now has face detection and autofocus. It's also added panorama pics, much like Android has been doing for a while. The major improvement is with the front facing cam, it's been upgraded to 720p for HD Skype and FaceTime. iOS 6 come on the iPhone 5 as standard and it doesn't benefit much more than the iPhone 4S. Maps has been the feature that has divided opinion. The search functionality seems hit and miss in terms of finding London locations. It displays more road names than place names and colour-coded rows have gone, so navigating to a specific point via pinch and zoom is much trickier. When it comes to battery, it's much the same story as the iPhone 4S. You'll make it through the day, but you'll have to charge it at night. You can watch a couple of films, listen to hours of music, but talking and 3G surfing takes a heavier toll, and 4G will be even more of a drain. There's no denying that the iPhone 5 is a lovely thing and the best iPhone to date. It could well be Apple's best selling unit ever, but its competitors have caught up. For nearly every new feature announced at the keynote, there was a Samsung, Android, Windows, Nokia, Sony or HTC fan saying, my phone already does that. Given that the iPhone 4S users can upgrade to iOS 6 and do just about everything the iPhone 5 can do and that Android users can get similarly impressive handsets for less dosh, we reckon the smart money won't be all going on the new iPhone this year, even if the mass market can't get enough of it. It's good, very good, but it's no longer the best around. For the latest iPhone news, reviews and features, keep a lock to t3.com.